Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So this is first time OnePlus is planning a max out ultra variant with a periscope lens and Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen. As seen by a speed test out of all 8 Gen 1 flagships, OnePlus 10 Pro was the only one matching the speed of the Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max. And of course it went 9 plus hours in the battery test so it is a overall nice flagship but lacking with some main features like IP68, 5 or 10x zoom and nice attractive OS. But the exciting and shocking news is that all of this about to change because we have confirmation from many leakers from China about a Pro Plus OnePlus flagship. Digital Chat Station says OnePlus will be using Oppo's resources like its ISP which is Mari Silicon X. He says next device is also going to have IP68 rating which is perfect. So yes, again OnePlus channel trace in the works with 8 Gen 1 IP68 rating, periscope lens likely 5x and also an attractive OS which you have might heard is Oxygen OS 13. So yes, unified OS is Oxygen OS 13 and OnePlus is sticking to that name because that's what they say. And this time they are asking users to help co-create this new operating system. This announcement came hours after the official launch of Android 13 for Pixel devices so it's no surprising that Oxygen OS 13 is based on E13. Concept creator has shown that the speculated OnePlus 10 Ultra's long thin zoom lens can integrate surprisingly well into the present. Potentially Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra's inspired back camera housing of the 10 Pro. According to the latest renders it could easily fit into the space occupied by one of of the actual flagship's three round lenses as well as the ring flash of equal size that is generally located next to it. The zoom module according to concept creator could be defined by a simple 5x zoom legend. However, OnePlus has decided to adore its new round flash with a more cryptic epithet P2D50T, a code set to represent the fact that the 10 Pro is its brand's second generation Hazelblade tuned 50 megapixel camera flagship. According to the source, the smartphone might be released in the second half of 2022 following the release of the successor to Snapdragon's latest flagship SoC. OnePlus appears to be replacing the T brand with the Ultra. So what do you think about this OnePlus 10 Ultra? Let me know in the comment section below. With that said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.